Hi friends, today I will teach you about how to write an email to foreign university professors regarding PhD. This is an ongoing problem with so many students living in Asian countries, particularly in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and others like Middle East countries. So they don't know how to write an email to a professor when they apply for a PhD. It's really important when you apply for a PhD to write a good email. If you can't write a good email, then it's likely that supervisor is not going to reply to your email. A, B, he is going to delete your email immediately. The rule number one to writing an email is keep it short, keep it simple. So without wasting further time, I will write a sample for you guys so that you can follow this template, I would say in future for writing emails to any supervisor of any field doesn't matter which field you are chemistry physics biology whatever you are computer science doesn't matter so you first write dear and don't bother to write doctor or professor or something sir particularly asian students prefer like dear sir but don't write dear sir or something so and uh, sorry i didn't mention that this template can be used internationally to any country where you are sending emails. It doesn't matter you are sending email to Australia, UK, America, Germany, Switzerland. It doesn't matter. You can use this template for any country, for any professor, for any university. Right? So write dear and write straight away name of a professor. It could be any name. William, whatever, Jacob. So I write X. X indicates the name of a supervisor where you are going to send the email, right? Dear X. So then you, all right, this system is this thing. So dear X means the dear supervisor, its name. X should be the name of a supervisor. So you write like, my name is y z whatever your name is and i am from xyz country so here in yz you put your name in xyz you put your country if you are from pakistan you put pakistan if you are from turkey iran saudi arabia you put the name of the country there that's it don't make it long and the next step is to write immediately how you came to know about this particular supervisor most likely it's really a nice way to mention about a paper which you read of that supervisor so say I came across to read one of your research paper you put the title of that research paper and then you briefly mention that in that research paper uh, you discussed about some XYZ topic it could be hydrogel cell growth 3d cell culture antibiotics drug delivery computer science engineering transportation whatever so then after writing this when you discussed about his paper you find his paper you wrote write the title of that paper and then you discussed briefly what was in that research paper then second thing important is to mention that you visited the you, so you like you were right I visited your research group website and I found that you have some PhD positions available in your group write this 
nothing and then you mention what is your background is like what what you have done in your masters or in your MPhil or BS four years or whatever honors you mention that my research background matches well with your interests so it would be nice if you can provide me or consider me as a PhD candidate so it would be nice if you can provide me acceptance for PhD you can write this acceptance for PhD or you can write if you can consider me as a PhD candidate so in these three lines what I have done is I have described each and everything that is relevant that will give you high chances to get the admission in PhD particularly because to get admission in any foreign university the first step is always to get the supervisor ready if he is agree with you if he is willing to consider you as a PhD candidate or if he is willing to provide you acceptance letter for PhD then the rest of the process is really smooth then you go on into the university website and submit your application form and then university considers your application and then gives you the outcome that you are successful for this admission and provides you the scholarship so everything is start from this email and if you write this email is really cool like this one then you have a high chances to get admission in any university I would say then lastly you will say that I would really appreciate if you can kindly send me the response and then in the end you will say I am attaching my CV which contains my academic record and recently I have published any paper if you have mentioned your one paper or poster or a conference paper whatever it is you mentioned it briefly don't go don't go into the details of your paper that you published or anything else and that's it so kind regards your name why is that that's it don't don't drag your email too long don't put so many details some students make mistake they put title of their thesis in the email supervisor is not interested in that I would say and he would not bother what your thesis title is what you have done so everything about your thesis should be in your CV he will uh, find the CV in attachment and then you attach the CV don't forget to attach it before sending the email and another quick tip I would give you then before typing the email into the actual browser whatever you're using Google Chrome or whatever you type your email in the MS Word and then you select your email and check the spelling and grammars by going into this tab because it re it's really important to check before sending any email because it will give you a good impression to a supervisor that you can write a good email and this this is the first impression that he is going to get about you from your email and it doesn't matter you are applying for six months or if you're applying for a whole PhD degree or as a visiting candidate this is the format you should use and if you have any questions regarding 
how to approach a supervisor or any comments if you want to share with me please don't hesitate to put your comments below in this video and don't forget to subscribe share and like our channel and please press the bell icon thank you